in the American textbooks, there's an experiment where in 1952, a researcher named Stanley Miller, he added explosive energy to chemicals to supposedly create the parts you need for life. The most basic molecule in our body is called a protein. Now, they're not all the same. Our hair is made out of a certain protein. Our skin is a different protein. Hemoglobin in our blood is a completely different protein. The proteins are like a long chain where the beads, the different colored beads, are amino acids. Now, in that 1952 experiment, what happened was a few of these different colored beads were formed when they add an explosive spark of energy to methane and ammonia and various chemicals. So they made a few of the colors. Every form of life has 20 different colors. They didn't make all of them. They, they all are like right hand and left hand gloves. If you look at a right hand glove and a left hand glove, they're essentially identical and yet you can't get the left hand glove on your right hand. Every time this experiment is run, you get both and yet life only uses the left hand gloves. So it's impossible you could just form the right kind of chain or get the colors in the right order. This is what one typical protein looks like. If I'm running back and forth across the stage at these, at these presentations, every single color has to be in exactly the right spot or it's the wrong protein. And it doesn't bend and twist and fold in the right way and it doesn't carry oxygen, or it doesn't form a skin cell, or it doesn't form hair. And it is impossible just by randomly grabbing colors to get them in the right spot. They were placed there just like the parts of the pin are specifically designed to be a pin, the molecules are specifically designed to form and work in exactly the right way. And it becomes obvious.